Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me here today. And look at me. Look what's around me. It's a disease, huh? I have all these Porsches, but I really love the engines. And one of the reasons why I love Porsche engines, especially the air-cooled ones, are that they're very tunable, and the manufacturer left so much opportunity on the table. So, here's what happens. I get all these questions on BC. You have these very popular post-chamber exhaust systems. How does it work? How does it make power? How does it quiet noise? And I'm here to share that information with all of you. So, here is the BC model pulse chamber, right? It's very nice, very attractive. It's made of three or four stainless that's brushed, absolutely gorgeous, with impeccable high penetration welds. Looks almost robotic, huh? But it's done by hand. It's handmade here in the United States, and it's absolutely beautiful. Now, what this does, it replaces your factory chambered exhaust system in your 3.0 and 3.2 air-cooled power plants. And the factory exhaust systems are pretty restrictive, but if you remove them, something very interesting happens if you just put a regular muffler. You get a lot of drone. And you know we get the drone? In the worst place possible, between 3,000 and 3,500 RPMs, right when you're in fifth gear, cruising on the highway. And you have this noise that's so annoying and so horrible, right? So that being said, I'm going to share with you what makes this tick and what makes this all so absolutely amazing, giving you that nice, deep tone without that nasty resonance drone. So, what makes this pulse chamber so exciting? Now, there is a concept known as Helmholtz, where you have this Helmholtz resonator, and that's what this uses, and it's pretty much this lovely CO tube here. Now, think about air. Yeah, we're breathing it, it seems pretty cool, right? But air is also a fluid, just like you would see with water. It doesn't have the density of water, but has very similar characteristics and properties. So, think of sitting next to a lake, a small lake indeed, and you drop a pebble. What happens in that particular lake is the pebble will create a ripple effect of waves that will go to the end of the lake and reflect backwards. Well, the same thing happens here in the exhaust system. You have these pressure waves and even sound waves that exist, and when they travel down the track, they tend to get to the end and reflect backwards. Now, here's how the pulse chamber works. If you have that sound wave traveling down the track and you time it properly in terms of the length of this Helmholtz chamber, when it reflects backwards, it can then merge with an oncoming wave. And because the frequencies are similar, it cancels it out. Yes, it's that simple. As in you have a wave that's going up and down, meeting a wave that's going down and up, and when they come together, it cancels it out. And what it does, based upon that theory, is allows the opportunity to cancel out on the warranty frequencies near drone. So this length is the perfect length for this exhaust system that allows you the opportunity to cancel out that nasty vibrating drone at 3,500 RPMs. The limitations of this system is that it only has that effect in a narrow band of frequencies. So you can have it for the entire RPM range, but here's what you end up noticing because of the design and also this nice absorption unit in the middle. You have a nice, deep, dare I say, race-like, almost V8 style tone that's race inspired, but not as loud as race, but it's very attractive without the drone. So you now have weight savings of the muffler because this weighs significantly less double digit weight savings compared to the factory. Because it does not affect your catalyst converter or induction, it is 100% emissions friendly. And above and beyond that has this very nice, beautiful stainless steel architecture, which does not tarnish after time. Now, if you want the option to ceramic coat these, we have that option in the house. Or let's say you want to reduce your noise levels even further. You want even a quieter exhaust, which this is not loud at all. My cars tend to keep this. But if you want another 18 decibel reduction, we do sell the optional sound arrester, which very easily with a single bolt slides in here and without a horsepower penalty gives you the capability of reducing those sound levels. So. What we've seen on the dyno, untouched, not tuned, just bolting on, is a 14 plus horsepower gain. And as you go here on YouTube, if you look around my beautiful channel here, you'll see some dyno evidence, and it is amazing. Does not rock Peter to pay Paul, you get this power gain 
all across the RPM range. So feel free to look for this on the BC Motor web store. It is there available in both the non-arrested and arrested versions, when I say arrested in terms of sound. And uh, we have these in limited quantities and I kind of will make this exclusive so they won't be around forever. So grab yours while you can. Hope that helps. Look forward to seeing you out there in the street and stay safe. Take care.